Hi, this is Kurt Kringlis, Head of Credit Strategy for Boya Investment Management. I would like to take a few minutes to share with you a brief update on the performance of the fixed income markets. The fixed income markets continue to rally in May with muted excess returns domestically and very strong excess returns in the emerging markets. Excess returns have often been negative in May, so the muted but positive performance was a win for investors. The emerging markets posted very strong excess returns driven by the easing of tensions between Russia and Ukraine. On a year-to-date basis, the higher beta high yield and emerging market sectors remain the outperformers. Within the U.S. investment grade corporate market, spreads for the overall corporate market were flat on the month, but there was still significant excess return dispersion across industries. In general, the higher spread industries outperformed on an excess return basis through higher spread carry. The outcome was consistent with the strong market technicals and better economic data. The relatively high spread and long duration communication industry was again the top performer while the financial industry delivered its first outperformance of the year. The lower spread consumer industries continued to lag the market. On a year to date basis, the relatively muted market action in May resulted in no change to the industry excess return leadership distribution. The communications industry remains the excess return leader due to the strong performance of Time Warner Cable earlier in the year. The cyclically sensitive industries continue to hold on to modest outperforming positions as economic growth remains on track to rebound in the second quarter. The lower spread and less cyclical industries remain in a lagging position. Our tactical outlook for the corporate market has improved modestly. While excess returns tend to be weaker in the summer, we do not see a clear catalyst for spread widening. We view the ECB's recent actions to stimulate the European economy as being incrementally supportive for risk assets. We also expect investor optimism to grow as the second quarter earnings season approaches given the likely rebound in economic activity that should be manifested in earnings. In aggregate, we feel that the odds are higher for the corporate market to deliver positive near-term excess returns.